So I already did my brows and I used the NYX. What's it called? I used the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade, and I actually really do like it. Um, yeah. So when you open it, it looks like that. See, like I've used that much. You don't really need a lot. Um, but yeah, I really like them actually. Yeah. And then to what's it called? Carve my brows in. I use the Anastasia concealer in the shade 1.0. And when you open it, it looks like that. So this isn't new. I just didn't have a concealer to like that I like to like. Yeah, and then you know I use my little tools. I don't think you guys care what tools an eyebrow brush Yeah, so now I say let's move on to the fun part, which is like the face So I'm gonna go in with the milk makeup blur stick and it is says it's a silicone free translucent blur stick minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a smooth matte finish blurring micro microsphere perfect skin and creates a smooth base for makeup use alone as an invisible foundation or under makeup as a primer so i'm going to use this mirror from the natural love palette so like it's going to be like right here just like to my face so i can see because i'm blind so it comes with like you know the tube or whatever and it looks like this right here is just a big old stick this is all the product that you get which is a pretty good amount of product so I'm just going to like put it basically around I like to put I'm gonna put it all over the face and I'm gonna use like three primers today which is pretty extra but it's like a first impression it's kind of smells like mint I don't know how to explain it but it kind of smells like that so I'm gonna check it kind of did blur out my pores and stuff like it did but not as much as my professional but it did blur out not even gonna lie it make every time like i rub stuff against like my skin it, it makes my skin turn red i don't know why so the next thing is the la girl pro prep hd high definition smoothing pow face pow primer and then it just fills in your pores and smooths it and enriched with vitamin E, fragrance free, and yeah, I haven't opened it at all, so. Oh, I thought it was going to look white. It's like really like clear silicone. -y. I was expecting like a lotion, like how the Maybelline primer is. I like when they look like this because I feel like when it looks like that, it makes me think like, oh, it's going to blur out my pores. Okay. I like the feeling of this. It makes it feel like it is blurring my pores, which I like. Oh, yeah, this feels really, like, soft. Like, it kind of gives me professional vibes, but not really. It gives me, like, a mineral type of thing, like... But I like this. I like how it feels on the skin. It doesn't leave it tacky or anything. Just like it makes it feel matte. It helped blur out my pores. But not entirely. Which it's. It minimizes them. So like it does make them look small. Which I like the primers. So I'm just going to spray this all over. You don't need to do all that. It's just me being extra. So right now I'm going to go in with the eyes. And I'm going to be using glitter. And this is the only one that I'm going to be reviewing. I already know how these work and stuff. So it's not really like a review because I already know how the glitters work. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe 25B palette, which looks like this. And it's also referred as the Mocha palette. And it just has like purples and like neutrals, more neutrals in here than the copper one. It, they also came out with the copper one, which is more like copper colors, you know. So I'm going to go in with the transition and I'm going to go in with the second shade right here which is kind of like a, I don't know, like an apricot color. So I'm going to just, I'm going to put this legit like all over the lid and then but more like focus into the crease. I'm just going to do one eye like here and then one eye off camera. 
so now I'm just gonna keep like like kind of like building up the colors so then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is like kind of darker a darker version of this one kind of a darker apricot shade and I'm gonna go in again and I'm just gonna build it up because we're gonna go in with some dark like brown and blacks and you don't want to just go straight into the blacks and browns because then like it would just be so much harder to like blend and everything you know so then I'm gonna keep building up and I'm just gonna go in with this brown now right here which is kind of like a grayish brown and I'm just gonna go like right onto my crease as well I'm just building these up and you don't have to like have this palette or anything just have like a palette that has like neutral shades so yeah you can kind of see it building up now now we're gonna go in with this shade right here we're just building so much colors up it's not even funny and then we're just gonna put the same thing just keep putting it over and it's getting darker now so it looks like that so it's getting darker now so now we're gonna go in with this shade right here and we're just going to like use that i think hopefully that's gonna be the last shade because i think this is as dark yes okay so we're just gonna keep going and we're gonna build this on as well and when you do this you're gonna look up for the brown so then it could just get the crease like right onto the crease so that is going to be it we're gonna go in with a black shade and yes black so scary i'm actually really scared right now we're gonna go on with this side right here because I feel like it's smaller and you don't want to go in with like a big fluffy brush with black since it is like really like an intense color like black sounds scary. So you're I'm gonna more focus it on the outer but eventually we're gonna blend it but I'm gonna focus it on the outer part. This isn't as black as I want it to be. I think I can intensify it. So you're just going to have it right here and then we're just going to go in and just blend it, blend, blend it in. I feel like this is not, because this isn't pigmented black, like this isn't like a super deep black. So I think I'm going to go in with a different shade of black. Yeah, I think I am because this black is not satisfying me and if you want you can go in with this black like it doesn't like if you're satisfied with this black like you can go and like do it like it doesn't matter but like I'm not satisfied with it well I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm literally just gonna take the black and I'm just gonna dab it in because this black is like hella pigmented look I literally like just dabbed it in a couple of times and it's so so pigmented and i'm just gonna go around it okay and i'm gonna take the same brush but flip it and then i'm going to just bring it all in but i'm gonna blend it in together and you don't want to go in with a shitload of black because then like if you do it's not i mean like it'll be harder to blend but then i'm gonna go in with the mocha shade again the mocha palette and i'm going to go in and i'm going to dip in to this brown right here as well so then like it can kind of like make it blend together and it just won't look like straight up just black so now that it looks like really like intense we're gonna like cut the crease right now so we're gonna cut the crease but only half of it so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna and then look up and then it creates it for you the cut crease I'm gonna just fill the rest in so that's just the half and it's okay if you get it a little messy to blend it you're gonna take like a little like beauty blender type of thing I'm using the real techniques one and I'm just gonna blend it so now that I've cut the crease I'm going to take some glitter glue the NYX glitter glue and I'm going to just put it on my the back of my hand. And I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to take this brush because the last time I used this, um, I used a smaller brush. And it wasn't the best. 
And you're only going to put the glitter glue around where you cut the crease at. So basically where all the concealer is at. Okay, this is easier than the smaller one. So you're going to use like a really like flat top one. Okay. Ooh, I like this color too. You're just going to take this, the glue. And you're just going to get more of the glitter right here. And you're just going to keep packing, packing until like your whole like cut the whole thing is like covered where all the concealer is at and then you're just gonna keep like shaking shaking until like you're satisfied and you're just gonna get it and you're gonna get a fluffy brush and you're just gonna blend it together so that like it won't be super harsh so that is how the final look looks like and we're i'm gonna do the other side but off camera so yeah next time you see me this eye is going to be done. Okay, so this is the final look. This is how it came out. Now I'm going to do the face part. And these are all first impressions besides the foundation. Because I didn't pick up a foundation. Because I forgot to pick one up. And plus I felt like there was no need. So yeah. So I'm going to get try the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Which I tried before. I don't know why I say, said I'm going to try. Because I already tried it. And I already put primer on earlier. Um, I'm just going to use a beauty blender and just blend it all out. I like to do this all the time with my shadow. Like I like to cut it like really like that so it can make it really precise. Sorry if my mirror is like in the way. It's just I need it to see. And it has like a fair amount. It's like medium to full coverage. And it is so good. I love this foundation a lot. So then I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro concealer which this isn't a new the new one but this is like the same shade and everything and I don't want to take out the new one if I saw product in this one so I was like might as well which is going to be the same for the um, cream contour by the way it's going to be like the old one but it's still the same thing so I can tell you guys how it is I so it's not like a first impressions on these two for the foundation but I really like this a lot oh I like the mascara by the way I put the mascara on before um, I applied um my falsies I really like the mascara is so freaking good and I'm just gonna apply like this concealer like everywhere I feel like I need to apply more but there's like barely any coming out thank god I bought a new one yesterday because I don't think this would have lasted and I really like this concealer. It's really cheap and really like afford. It's really affordable. They're like four dollars for these, and they have super full coverage, which I like in them. So now I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna do the um, contour stick in the shade Coco Coconut, and what's it called? And it's a Maybelline Fit Me, and yeah, they're like seven, eight dollars for one. And I'm just going to contour everywhere where I cream contour always on the cheekbones, on my nose especially because I really like a snatched nose. Then I'm going to go on the forehead. Oh, in the mirror. I love this. It's so easy to apply cream contour with this. Like, get this for cream contouring. And it makes you look tanner and it contours you up. It makes you look so limmer than you are. So now I'm going to try the Stay Matte by Rimmel Long Lasting Press Powder. So it's long lasting. Apparently, I don't know if that's the truth. This is in the shade O number 4 Sandstorm. And it says up to 5 hours natural shine control with natural minerals helps minimize appearance of pores. Okay, Rimmel, I see you. Okay, I like it so far. The coverage is good. I like it. Yeah, the coverage is good on this side. Now we're just going to set everything on the face. I like to use like this, like a foundation brush, which is, this is the Real Techniques buffing brush. I like to use buffing brushes for powder because it. I feel like these pick up the most product for you. And if you want more full coverage, like you use this and it'll literally like pick up so much product. Like look. Compared to like a fluffy brush or anything like this will pick up your product. I feel like that's why I like it. I feel like that's why it's coming off with a lot of um, like a lot of coverage because of that. 
and this is like under five dollars this is like four something I feel like it's a lie though when they say that I minimize its pores because I do not see a difference from when I applied the primer on honestly but I don't know if I'm just supposed to like use a primer and then put the powder on and then they'll blur on my pores I don't know now I'm gonna go in with the covergirl clean professional loose powder in the shade 110 translucent white it looks like this and I'm just gonna open it up I'm gonna just okay that didn't work my lashes are like on the scissors because I have to cut my lashes in order to like wear them oh my gosh I why can't I open it so when you open it, okay. Okay, so it comes with like this puff thing. I'm not gonna use this. It has a scent, scent to it and I remember the scent. It smells like um, this Asian thing that my grandma and like my grandpa would use. So like whenever you're sick, um, you would use this green medicine thing and like it like literally like it was like magic in the, like a bottle because like you would have a headache and that shit would go away like in an instant it comes with like a decent amount of like powder it comes with 20 grams which is like a lot it, this will last a long time wow a lot comes out this literally smells like my childhood like it literally smells like that medicine that i was talking to you guys about so i'm just gonna bake like usual and I've used this before, I just haven't used it in a long time. Like this was my first translucent powder ever when I first started baking and everything, which was like way before time. I think this was like in like freshman, sophomore year. And now I'm a senior, so like it's been like two years, three years. So yeah, I don't really remember how this worked. I think I have to wet my beauty blender again because it's like not wet at all. Okay, so I wet my beauty blender. So now it's like damp. So I'm just gonna go in with this again. I just don't. It's not as messy though as like the airspun one where like that one like literally like powder goes everywhere, you know? I think I used a different shade before though. Like this one is like a tad bit like color to it. I think I used the shade 105, pretty sure. I was, but there was no one 105. And then I looked at this and I was like, okay, like this is like the lightest, the second lightest shade. Like, this is after 105 because this is 110. So then I was like, I'll just grab this. And it's not bad, you know, but I'm, I'm just saying I got a different shade. Which I'm fine with because I'd rather have it, like, a little color. So, like, I don't come out, like, actually, like, white. So I'm going to dust off the excess. And I really, before, I used to love it. Oh, yeah, I still like this. I like when, like, you take it off and, like, the finish. It just looks so good. Like, I really like this. Wow, why did it take me so long to re repurchase this? It just makes you look so airbrushed. I love it. So this is another product that I repurchased. And I'm not going to use the new one because then I still have product. The contour pa the contour side. And I still have a lot. I know I'm going to run out though soon because I see like this dent in there. So I'm just going to contour it out. And yeah, so you see like lifted. I like this contour a lot. If you're not, if you're like more of a cool tone person, then you, I don't think you'd like this because this is really warm tone. And I like warm tone, I like warm tone shades on me more than cool tone. Like, I mean, like I don't mind cool tone, but like I prefer warm tone shades. So like this is like my favorite contouring one. Like that's why like I kind of ditched the Kat Von D one. Like I still use it, but like I mostly use like this for my cocoa contour but the one with the warm side which is dark cocoa this is so amazing like i love this contour palette get this contour palette it's like four or five dollars for this it's so good so now i'm gonna go with the bronzer i used this a long time ago some of these stuff i have used but i don't really remember if i liked it or not because this was like be i've used this bronzer way before i knew how to like do all this like cut crease like all that stuff and like how to put lashes on like i've never like so i don't really remember how my thing was but natalie paris recommended this to me i mean like yeah so it's really warm tone and i like it a lot oh my gosh this literally makes you look like a like a bronze goddess literally oh my gosh look how bronze i look like in person like in camera you can tell that i look really bronze but like in person i look so super bronzed up 
which is so good. Oh my gosh, I really like this. I really like how this look comes. This first impression is bomb. Like, I have no fails. So now I'm going to use a highlighter. I've been waiting for this. This is the e.l.f. Baked highlighter. The one that, like, everyone raves about or raves about. I don't know. I haven't really heard much about it lately. But this is a Moonlight Pearl one, which is the one that's, like, white and not pink. This is, like, more... Kind of champagne -y. I'm just gonna people say to like like take off the first layer but I swatch it so much that I'm like I don't know if I took off the first layer already but if not if I don't see anything I'll just like use it oh my god that's really pretty okay but you can't see it in camera but in person like you can but it's not like I really like it though do you guys see that? Like, I kind of want to add more just so it could be, like, blinding. I don't know if I should spray something, though. But I feel like I already added, like, highlighter, so, like, it would just look crazy. Oh, yeah, guys. Look at that. If you just... It's the buildable one. So, like, you can build it up. I saw people, like, they were like, oh, this doesn't even work. Like, people raved about it, and it doesn't... It's not blinding enough. Like, you just have to build it, build it up. Guys, look look elf did that like for four dollars elf did that i'm just so happy that i finally got my hands on this because they had the other the pink one but i didn't want the pink one like i wanted moonlight pearls because i knew if i got the pink one i wouldn't wear it a lot because pink is just not my favorite type of highlighters like i'm more into like white champagne gold type of highlighters so i'm just gonna add it everywhere like that i like usually add my highlight to so like my temples and like my cupid as well, my chin, my nose, especially my nose. I want my, I want my nose to be a So this high, this blush right here, this is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Pearl, Pearl, Pearl Celine Pink. And I've had this for a while, but I just never gave it a chance. Like I've always just picked up my Milani one. Or like my NARS one, which I pick up my Milani one way more than my NARS one too. But I just like never like gave this a chance. This is really like peachy, corally kind of color. So I'm just going to add some. And like a lot comes off, which that means that it's a lot of pigment. So I'm just going to dust it away. Because I don't want it to be like, like I don't want it to be super pink, you know. Because like it already looks pink. So I'm just going to dust it on. This is really pretty. Actually, especially with with like a warm tone look. Like especially with this look. Like this looks so pretty. And I got my like nail like in there. If you can like see it right there. So now the last thing is lips. And I'm going to go in with a nude. And this is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Unreal. And I saw this and like I was in love. I had to get it. It's like a nude kind of color. I mean, like when I swatched it, it was like a nude, but like brown, not like a pink shade. It's so weird, but I like like the applicator. Like I don't know what it is. Okay, on your lips, they it kind of comes off as like a pinky kind of brown. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and all my reviews. Like this first review, like of like a full beat like face. Like, everything was just so good. Like, I actually, like, really liked anything. I don't think there was something that I, like, least liked. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, bye, guys.